up, what's up, what's up? Of course, it's your boy Richie Vetch at Consumer Fine Support. You know we review appliances. Today we're gonna focus on the LG French door refrigerator with the instant view. You can knock on the door, of course, and it lights up and lets you know exactly what's on the inside of the refrigerator without actually opening the door. All right, so this is a spacious um, counter depth refrigerator, like I said, with instant view. Um, refrigerator here made by LG this portion of the video we're gonna focus on the functions and the features alright so we're just gonna let you know exactly what this refrigerator can do alright don't forget like share and subscribe to the channel man when you watch these videos we're gonna break this down like no like none other alright so just bear with us as we continue to review these appliances let's rock let's get it let's roll all right, so one of the things I like about it, of course, is the counter depth. So it's gonna compare just your standard counter depth with the LG counter depth. All right, it's gonna sit in a little bit more flush in comparison to when you have a built-in cabinet or built-in area that your refrigerator gets in. It's gonna, it's gonna fit in there a lot smoother. Um, also, it's supposed to have a lot more space on the inside of the LG um, counter depth refrigerator. Um, 26 is the max, of course, but you can see from the image it's a lot bigger, you're getting a little more space um, that you can put more of your stuff and food in on the inside of the refrigerator. All right, so that's me, of course, at the local store, banging on the InstaView. And this is how it looks. Of course, it is a bottom freezer at the bottom, and then you have the suicide doors, which is the French door. You have your dispenser that you can see there as well. You can get ice cubed or water. A built-in style, full-size capacity. And this is just the interior of it. It's just telling you that it's real spacious than ever big really really big appliance man so we're going to start off right here with the air um filter all right so let me go inside the owner's manual man so you guys will be able to check this stuff out and know exactly what you're looking at all right so all right so you can see where it says you can turn it to open um you can turn it to the the left to open the right to close um so it can be a little bit difficult one of the things that i notice about these type of air filters made by LG. Um, when you, if you're an older customer or older buyer of this appliance, I've had a customer that was older and up in age, and it was difficult for them to tr to really try to twist it without attempting to break it. Um, it was of course under warranty when we went out to the, um, to check out the appliance and we repair the air filter or replace the air filter form, and then of course we snap it back. It can be somewhat difficult, man. So you just want to be careful in how you do it um, you might want to get some practice in um, changing it every six months or whenever the refrigerator reminds you to do so but it's very important to do it because it's very essential in how your appliance operate and everything else all right so not much to it man again it's inside the owner's manual you remove the filter inside of the cover by pressing the side of the filter in and pulling the center out all right so and this is how it really looks when it says place the new filter inside of the cover with the side that says front facing outward. All right, so you can find the stuff in the owner's manual. Um, not difficult to do, um, but like I said, just take your time and do it, man. It's um, It can be done. All right, so let's rock. Let's see how big the inside of the unit is. We're gonna talk about here. Um, you have different shelves and pantries that you can use here um, as well. Um, so we can look at the shelves inside of this unit. Um, really slick, really nice, the way that it comes out, really smooth. Um, you can put some stuff, some real big stuff inside of there. Um, this is here is your folding shelf. All right, it's a spill protection as well, so it should be easier for it to clean. It's not a difficult thing to do. But when you're um, using this particular appliance to make some room, if you have bigger bottles like orange juices, if you got wine, stuff like that, you can actually slide the shelf back, and that can give you some room. In, in, in space so that you can put more stuff in. And that's one of the things that I like about that folding shelf. But you can look on the inside, it's really big, really big um, glass stainless steel in the back with the back panel. Again, I've noticed that it's um, coming up where a lot of manufacturers are starting to do the stainless steel back because it helps the um, hold the temperature inside of the refrigerator a lot better in comparison to the plastic. All right, this is metal, so it should be colder. You got the uh, metal shelves, the stainless steel shelves as well. Glass shelves, all right, so I'm sure that's gonna cost you some bread or something, but you can see on the inside of it, it's really big, really spacious, 
um, really really like as far as the room and the stuff that you can put in there and that's normally a lot of this, the importance of buying a refrigerator is checking out how big it is on the inside because you want to put more stuff in depending on um, the size of your family um, that you have and the stuff that you really want to put in there it's really spacious I really really like it all right so let's check out different portions of it let's get into this manual a little bit more as well we're going to talk about the pantry it slides out and the thing about the pantry you can um, select different temperature settings as well meat deli produce um, for the pantry so we're going to get into that all right um, so let's get into the owner's manual and see what it says about it Alright, so we talked about using the folding shelves. It says this feature is only available on some models, but on this particular model it is available, so you do have it. It says store uh, taller items such as gallon, container, or bottles by pushing the front half of the shelf underneath back half to the shelf. Pull the front shelf forward to return to a full shelf. Alright, so we talked about the pantry. Press the button to choose between produce, which is cold, deli, colder, and meat, coldest. Alright. Um, it says do not place any items on the side on the glide and serve cover so you just want to be careful with that that you don't damage it but like i said it comes out real smooth real nice as you can see in the video again you can check that out it says to remove the glide and serve pull out the drawer until it stops lift the front up and pull straight out that's what that is it says to assemble slightly tilt up the front insert the drawer into the frame and push it back into space all right, and this of course is the refrigerated shelves and this is how you really operate and move the shelves if you want to switch it around you want to bring it down a little bit more you want it to be a lot taller to give you more space you have different hooks that you can hook on the inside of here but you want to make sure that those hooks are supported and it's on the inside of it right and you sometimes you want to use your weight to make sure that it's in there properly and it's not falling down um, so you want to be able to do that you can remove the shelves and adjust it however you would like all right so that's some of the good things you can say about this refrigerator all right all right so let's go see what else so now we have the control panel right um different options you have your refrigerator water filter freezer air filter smart grid wi-fi ice plus indoor indoor iced craft ice you got your mini cube ice uh self-care and lock and of course, if you hold certain buttons for a period of time, might maybe about three to five minutes, um, or three to five seconds, I'm sorry, and that could either lock um, the actual control panel that it doesn't operate. If you like kids like pressing the buttons, it would not press any buttons and it wouldn't change the function settings. You also have the Wi-Fi. If you press a certain button or hold it for three seconds, you can reset your air filter, you can reset your water filter. So it's multiple things that you can look for when you're looking at the control panel and it tells you exactly how to operate it. All right, so we can go inside the owner's manual so you can actually see that a little bit more. Uh, and as we discussed, um, the control panel and everything else so let's get into that so here we go all right so the one that you have here is type a that has a refrigerator water filter hold for three seconds freezer air filter smart grid wi-fi so all these functions depend on the model that you got so the model that we have is type a so the one that we have is fully loaded with different um, craft ice and cube mini ice so you'll be able to see that when we get into the freezer portion of the refrigerator all right so it says the indicator indicates the set temperature of the refrigerated compartment. You got Celsius and Fahrenheit. Um, we typically deal with Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit in America. So we're talking about a refrigerated temperature should be at least 37 degrees Fahrenheit. And for your refrigerator, that's the refrigerated temperature. And typically for your freezer, it's zero. All right. So you put it on zero. I know customers that had it on negative one, negative two, negative three. Um, that's okay too, but it does allow your compressor to run up that much more harder because you have it on a lower setting. Um, it's going to be a lot colder, but just be careful and mindful of that. The, um, the more negative you go, the colder the refrigerator is and the harder it has to work for the compressor. So it's capable of handling it, but like I said, zero is your standard refrigerator temperature. I'm sorry, your standard freezer temperature and your refrigerator temperature is 37. All right. So. But again, you can make whatever necessary adjustment you like by selecting the refrigerator or the freezer temperature. All right, so let's rock. Let's get it, man. Let's get into this review. 
All right, so you see me there pressing on the buttons, um, however you would like. Um, really good information, Ice Cube. Um, we can probably get into that a little bit more just to see what is recommended. Uh, water filter, it says replace the water filter. Um, when the replace filter icon is on, after replacing the water filter, press and hold the water filter button for three seconds to turn the icon light off. Replace the filter approximately every six months. Um, the air filter helps remove odors from the refrigerator as well. So you can use an air filter or you can use baking soda um, or you can buy different air filters to, to make sure that it takes away from the odor inside of the refrigerator. That does happen because again you have mixed different foods on the inside of it creating different smells. Um, sometimes you might spill something on there and you forgot to get it up so that can create an odor. Um, but again your refrigerator will remind you when that needs to be replaced. Um, you can also again replace the water filter. Um, it will, you can tell that it needs to be replaced because your refrigerator will tell you that it needs to be replaced. If not, then you can tell by your water how it tastes. You can tell by your ice. Um, the shape of the ice is, starts to change. It could be a lot smaller than what you're used to or it's not going to make ice or it's not going to dispense water. Alright, so those are a couple things that you can look for to let you know when you need to replace your refrigerator water filter. We suggest that you do it as um, often as you can every six months. I know that water filters are getting extremely expensive now, but it is better for you to replace it because you, um, you can damage the filter housing and then that would cause corrosion inside the filter housing and then of course you're going to need a new filter housing because the filter won't come out or when you try to remove it, you break the housing because it's not, it has not been replaced within six months. All right, so just keep that stuff in mind. All right, so we discussed the freezer temperature already. Fahrenheit is zero, Celsius is negative 18. The smart grid, it says press the smart grid button to turn the function on and off. All right, so it says when the function is on, the indicator eliminates. The function automatically turns on when the refrigerator is connected to the Wi-Fi network. The smart grid function is only available if your electric utility company supports the function. All right, so that's what it's all about. Um, smart grid, um, trying to help you save electricity um, like I said there's a lot of this stuff that's happening um, refrigerators are smarter than ever um, so it's just another added feature that they have it is a smart refrigerator that comes with the Wi-Fi ThinQ app um, you get notifications um, it also shows to let you know um, it says the Wi-Fi indicator shows the status of the refrigerator's network connection the indicator illuminates when the refrigerator is connected to the Wi-Fi, so it'll let you know that as well. So just press and hold the Wi-Fi button for three seconds to connect to the connect connect to the network. The indicator blinks while the connection is being made, and and then turns on once the connection is successfully made. You got your Ice Plus. It says the function increases both ice making and freezing uh, uh, capabilities. It says press the Ice Plus button to eliminate the icon and activate functions for 24 hours. The function automatically shuts off after 24 hours. All right, so increasing both ice making and freezing uh, capabilities. All right, so again, if you're having a big guess, if you want ice to be made fast, real quick, you can select, you can select the ice plus, and like I said, it increase the freezing capabilities of the refrigerator. There's a fan that circulates and allow it to freeze a lot faster as well. So that's some of the benefits of having this refrigerator. You can get ice really quick. All right, so. It's a lot of ice in this refrigerator, I can tell you that. All right, so let's keep going with this joint. All right, craft ice. It says uh, press the craft ice button repeatedly to select between the three ice, six ice, or off mods. It says after five seconds of idle time, the last mod will be saved and the display returned to normal. All right, so you can turn off the craft ice or you can turn it off or you can get three to six ice as well. You do have the cube mini ice and then you have cubed ice. It says press and hold the cube mini ice button for three seconds to turn on the cube mini ice maker on and off. And then you have the uh, cubed ice, press and hold the ice cube button for three seconds to turn the ice maker on and off. All right. Um, so again, you have different forms of ice, mini ice, cubed ice, craft ice. This refrigerator can make you three different type of ice. <laughs> so there's a lot going on there. Um, Self-care, um, plus it says your UV light is used to keep the water outlet clean. The UV clean functions run automatically for 10 minutes every hour or can be manually activated at any time. Press and hold this button for three seconds to activate it manually. All right, so your refrigerator can clean the outlet as far as uh, where the water is on its own automatically every 10 minutes. 
or it you can do it manually self-explanatory your refrigerator can clean itself yeah all right couple notes that you can see there do an operation the function stops if the water button is pressed it resumes automatically after one hour so the functions run automatically for 10 minutes every hour without requiring you to press the self-care button it says a uv nano is, is a compound word derived from the words uv and its unit a nanometer all right so we got the lock this is something easy you press it it locks the functions you try to press the buttons it would not work you hold it for another three to seconds to deactivate it all right that's pretty straightforward and simple all right so let's get into this video um again all right so let's this video rock real quick like i said pressing all the buttons and then of course you got your shelving right that's one of the things i like you got different um shelving you got they're big enough for you to put some decent stuff in and again, it has the InstaView door that you don't have to open the whole entire refrigerator in order to get anything out. Because every time you open that refrigerator door, it takes away from the temperature inside. You're losing um, the coldness on the inside of the refrigerator every time you open the door. So you want to make sure you keep it closed as often as you can. It's best for the refrigerator. All right. So again, back here, you have your water filter housing. All right. So this is where you put in your water filter. You remove the shelf, um, put your filter in. Uh, we can look at that a little bit just to see. Um, again, it's just a water filter, man. So it's nothing special, but I'll at least like to show you that it's in the owner's manual so that you'll be able to, um, you know, replace the filter if you need be. A little maintenance stuff that you can do. You can say replace the filter here. Um, that's page 46, replacing the water filter. And it tells you, again, we've been over it several times already every six months. Um, and there's an indicator lights up to let you know a um, couple things that you can do Well, one thing you need to do of course when you replace your water filter You want to make sure that you fill up about three or four cups of water after you insert the new water filter at times It might stop Seem like it's not working as you're doing the process of purging the water um, It might um, stutter a little bit like and stop go stop and go but you want to fill up about three or four cups so that whatever air in the, is inside the refrigerator water line that the new filter pushes everything out. So whatever sentiments, it might even look dark, it might look unclean. Um, yes, because that filter that you had, it needs to be replaced and it's getting older. So it's not really doing its job because it needs to be replaced. So you put a new filter in and it pushes everything out. Once you notice that the water is clear, then you're good to go. All right, so like I said, I would normally say about three to four cups to do so. All right, so so that's cool. Replacing that filter there, not much. That's the housing. So, and then you just slide it back on, and you're good to go. All this is in the owner's manual as well. So that's where we at. Again, this is your ice maker, indoor ice maker. Like I said, I really like the indoor ice makers because it allows you to have more space, but at the same time, they are a pain in the butt because they do go bad a lot. Um, and that's just for any ice maker in general. Um, ice makers are not a, they're not durable. It's a lot of plastic. The motor is not as strong. So, turning and twisting and bending, eventually, sometimes it gets stuck. Sometimes the motor breaks, and boom, that's where you at. All right. So that's your auger, your dispenser, and everything that's inside of there. You can take that out. Just remove that slowly. There go your, um, your auger motor and everything else to turn it so that you can get cubed ice, um, and everything else, whatever type of ice you need. This is where we go to the UV cleaner. Um, this is your dispenser that allows you to get uh, water and everything else on the inside of it. You can see the different functions, right? You got your water, you got your cube, you got your crushed ice. Um, that's also in the owner's manual as well. Um, as far as what we got going on. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys that a little bit on page 29, here 29 and 30. Here we go. It says using the ice and water dispenser, press the icon for des uh, desired dispenser mode. The LED over the selected icon turns on. It says press the dispenser panel with a glass or water container to dispense cubed ice or 
um, water or crushed ice. All right, so again, it's pretty simple. The way that I pressed it when I was in the store, it does respond just as similar to your cell phone. So your cell phone, cell phone, extremely sensitive as far as the screen, and you know, it's sensitive to the touch. It's the same thing that is happening with a lot of these appliances. It's the same thing that's happening to the water dispenser as well. Um, as you press it, it responds pretty easily. All right, so that's one of the things that we really like about it. All right, so. We're going to let that roll again, the dispenser, man. You can look at all this stuff inside the owner's manual. You can also lock, it says locking the ice and water dispenser. Again, you can lock this stuff if you have pets. I remember I saw this story before. Um, a customer had an issue where there was always water on the floor. They didn't know what was going on. The technician came out and couldn't find out what was wrong. Come to find out it was the dog that was pressing on the dispenser and just getting water out of there and just trying to drink the water. And, um, you know, it was always water on the floor, but they never knew how it got there. But so sometimes that can happen. So you might have to lock it if you have any pets that like doing stuff like that. Or you have kids that like pressing on buttons. Um, you can also lock that as well. So it says press and hold the lock button for three seconds to lock the dispenser and all the control panel functions. Follow the same instructions to unlock. All right. So it's the same exact thing. And we talked about the ice maker opening the door. It's just a lever. You press it, pull it open and close. Um, it's not a difficult thing to do. Real simple, real easy, and make sure that it's closed back. You want to make sure that you put that um, the ice container or the ice bucket back in properly. If it's not in properly, then the door won't close. You want to make sure that door is also sealed, just like any other door. Um, any water or moisture get inside of it, it affects the component and cause the refrigerator not to um, um, it build up with a lot of ice, right? And you know you don't really want that to happen. All right, so let's rock. See what we got, man. All right, so you got the mullion. Make sure the door is closing properly. Um, again, really good. This is your inside of the freezer compartment. We really like this appliance. Um, like I said before, extra space, bulky. They have the bottom lever there. As you can see, it's pushing down on it and it pushes it out. We really like that. Um, so at the bottom of inside the freezer, you can see you can put some stuff on the inside of here, man. You have plenty of options to choose from. You got your craft ice, and that's how the craft ice look, looking like huge balls. And then you have your quick mini chilled ice. So you can make real small ice, craft ice, regular ice. You have three different ice on here. And then, of course, you can use the ice plus feature. So like I said before, it's an amazing appliance with a lot of features. People love ice. I'm not a big fan of ice. I don't really use ice like that, but I do understand that once you get it, it's almost like one of those things that you love to have. Um, especially, like I said, if you're having a dinner party and you need ice, this machine would give you three different levels of ice. So you can stack up on ice. And then, of course, using the fast, the ice plus feature. All right, so that's the inside. You have different ice maker inside of that as well. All right, so um, really like it. It's really spacious in there. You can put some stuff in there as well. Really deep on the inside of it. Um, so it does give you some options, man, and that's one of the things we really like about this LG appliance. Um, we're coming to the end of this joint, man. As you can see, the LG French door refrigerator with the InstaView built-in full-size capacity. Um, man, you already know I'm your boy, Richie Rich. We're talking about the functions and the features. You already know what we do, man. If you you help me, I help you. We both help each other. So next time, I'm out of here. Functions and the features. Peace. All right, so for this portion of the video, we're going to focus on the parts. Man, how much is it going to cost you to repair this particular LG French door refrigerator? Um, as you guys can see, I'm on the SearsPartsDirect.com. Um, only thing that it asks, of course, is your model number. So you want to put your model number in. Sometimes with the LG unit, it has different series. You have 00, 01, 03. If you happen to have that on the model number, put that information in. All right, so let's get into this real quick. Let's talk about the case parts. So this part covers, let me expand the diagram here. So this is like the cavity of it inside the refrigerator. Um, you have your evaporator cover, you have um, your drain, um, you have on top of the refrigerator, you got your plug. Um, so you have different parts and components. You got the legs at the bottom here, and you can use this tool here to adjust the legs, to raise them up, to raise them down. You can also put the stopper on the refrigerator to stop it from moving. 
So you put those down and it's permanent. So in order to move the refrigerator, you have to um, raise the stoppers back up so that you can roll the refrigerator on the wheels. All right, so that's something to think about when you want to move your refrigerator. All right, so inside of here, common parts, you got your air filter, 3321. This is something that we discussed. You can purchase the air filter or you can use the old fashioned way just by getting some baking soda. You can also buy different air fresheners that you can stick on the side of the refrigerator. You do not have to buy this particular one, but if you happen to need it, it's 3321. Air filters, com I mean water filters, common issues that go bad every six months, you need to replace them. So you're looking at $66.99, so you can save roughly about $120 to $140 bucks to replace your um, refrigerator water filter. Alright, refrigerator condenser fan motor. I right, just had to replace one of these a couple weeks ago. Um, you're looking at $64.90. Um, originally it's about $69.99, 77%. Um, what can happen to this uh, to this part, the motor can stop spinning. So if your motor stops spinning, it sits directly in the back of the refrigerator, causing your compressor to cool down. If it doesn't spin, it causes your compressor to overheat, it's gonna run longer. And of course, with your compressor not um, cooling down and getting so hot and running for so long of a time, it causes your refrigerator temperature to malfunction so it's not going to be as cold as it needs to be because your compressor is too hot so if you if you happen to need that they might charge you 120 bucks labor might be 220 to 275 dollars so roughly you're talking about 390 to about 400 bucks to replace this part depending on the company that comes out all right so you got to look at you got to think about that as well um adapters are pretty common to replace if there's a hole in the water line text normally come out snip and cut the water line, put an adapter on it, and you're good to go. Um, the bins, you can order that yourself, pretty common issue. The spanner wrench, that, like I was telling you before, to adjust the legs, that's a good tool to have, it's about 10 bucks. Um, your refrigerated door switch, 1706. Do not have a lot of issues replacing those, but if you happen to need a door switch, again, it's less than 20 bucks. Um, refrigerated door hinge, um, don't have a lot of issues with the door hinge either, but if you happen to need a door hinge, it's 2869. All right, so I'm going to scroll through some of these. Um, refrigerated left door assembly. All right, so you're talking about this, the left door, more than likely where the dispenser is. Um, depending on what door that is, you have your right. Um, it says the freezer drawer, the slide rail on the right. Those railings are 87, 46. So we're going to look at number 36 a little bit just so that we can have a better idea of what door they're talking about. I highly doubt it's one of those ref uh, refrigerated doors on top. Those doors can cost you some bread. All right. But if it is, I'll let you know. I'm not worried about it. Um, drain, tubings, different things that you see there as well. Duck assembly, um, refrigerated crisper rollers, how you rotate the crispers and they uh, spin on the wheels. That's what that is about. All right. If you happen to need those. All right. Um, holder, shelf, tray. Um, a lot of the stuff we're not able to see the picture, but you can um, just go back to the image of top to really find out um, what it is, that particular part. It says refrigerator freezer door assembly 34771. So it depends on the color that you would need for this particular appliance. So this is the freezer door. You're talking about 300 and something dollars. We're going to round it up to about four. Talking about 220 bucks to 270, so you're talking about roughly between 400. I'm sorry, 620 bucks to 675 bucks or 70 bucks, depending on the labor. So you can roughly spend almost 700 dollars to replace that door if you happen to need the door. All right, door handle 10518 for one of those door handles. Um, if you need a handle, it's 100 and some dollars. If you don't know how to put it in, then you got to factor in labor. So you're talking about at least $300 to $400 to replace the handle. Um, refrigerated door assembly, the right side, you're looking at $417.82. That's, that's not expensive for a door. Typically, sometimes you can spend up to $1,000 for a refrigerated door. So if you're spending $417, ah, that's really good. So you're talking about six to 700 bucks to replace the refrigerator door. They might round this door up to about 500 and something bucks. They gotta get their money for the shipping and the handling and the part. So they're gonna round this up probably about the 550 bucks. Then you're talking about labor, 220. So you're talking about eight. Yeah, it can get up to about 800 bucks. So if you got a good company that comes out, you're gonna spend between seven and 800 bucks to replace the door.
all right because the door come as an assembly just the door but most of the times you got to replace the gasket around the doors if it's the door with the dispenser and the ice tray you got to remove those things from the old door and put them back on the original door all right so you got to take off the ice maker and put all that stuff in the new door and take them off the old one and put them on the new one so like i say before the labor is going to cost they're going to cost you some money for that for switching over some of the old stuff back on the door um, and you're going to have to pay for that it could cost you some bread now we're looking at door gasket all right pretty common for door gaskets to go bad they wear out from opening and closing the door there's times you might see the moisture around the door right um your refrigerator is not cooling properly mostly it's just because the moisture if it's in the freezer you see the ice build up since this is the refrigerator you're going to see moisture around the refrigerator so you're looking at 9251 if it's the right side if it's the left it's 6984 again it could also be because of the color if it's a gray color in comparison to being black or white of course when you're talking about those different colors it can cost you a little bit more but a hundred dollars right you're looking at 150 220 for the labor you're talking about 370 to about 400 bucks so on average it seems like you're going to be spending between three or four hundred bucks no matter what it is that you're doing for this particular appliance but that is cheap in comparison to replacing the refrigerator originally without the actual um um, sale that they give you for the holiday or different things that they're giving you right now it's about 3500 check out the price portion of the video it costs you some bread for that all right the flipper which is the um, the mullion when you open a door and it flips back and forth that part is 120 bucks so if i need to replace that as a technician you're going to spend 200 you're going to spend almost 400 bucks just to replace that little part all right so refrigerators are expensive to purchase and they're also expensive to repair so you got to factor all this in when you're looking and purchasing a new appliance because this is what we're going to do to help you guys out just to give you an idea on how much it's going to cost you because it's going to cost you <laughs> it's going to cost you all right um, basket door like little stuff like that you can probably get yourself just go online, you can use this website, you can go to LG, they can give you the model number, you can search stuff online to get better prices before you actually confirm anything. All right, so let's get with that. Cover assembly with display, buttons, um, compressor. So this is going into the whole entire gambit of what I need for all the parts. All right, so I thought it was gonna break it down individually, but not. All right, so let's look at the compressor. Again, we talked about the warranty. Check out the warranty portion of the video. If the compressor's not covered under warranty, you're gonna spend $347.71, right? So roughly about 400 bucks for a compressor, and I'm just being nice. So if the compressor's for the labor uh, that you probably would need, because um, you're gonna need additional parts to replace the compressor, the service valve, the filter dryer. So you're talking about those two parts. So let's say it's about 450. Then you got to factor in labor. Some companies are between three to 500 bucks. So you're talking about 450, I'm gonna go to high route and say five, you're looking at 950 to a thousand dollars to replace the compressor. Oh, you gonna pay for that. You gonna pay for that. And that's why I said, if it's under warranty, contact LG, they'll be able to help you out with that. All right, the evaporator 213. That's, a, that's the part, depending on if it's in the refrigerator or the freezer. That's the inside part of the refrigerator that keeps the unit cool, right? You're talking about 213. I'll probably run it up to about 300 to install an evaporator. It's similar to installing a compressor. I got to get into the seal system. I got to replace the, the die dryer and the service valve. I also got to get put Freon inside of it as well. So this can take some time to do. So you're talking about at least seven to 800 bucks to do this. And I'm just being nice. So let's say any seal system part that you would need is gonna almost cost you $1,000. All right, so unless you're getting this and there's an open box for $1,290, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna wanna purchase another appliance. You might as well get it fixed because it is cheaper. Um, this appliance is, again, go to the price section in the video and check it out, you'll know. Harness, wires, all that stuff, shorts out if you need it is $185. All right, so. Yeah, so this is going into all the parts that you can possibly think of. Condenser, fan, um, 213, right? So you got different covers you can buy. So it's going to go into everything, but I thought it would uh, um, at least show some pictures and some images. So we can just look at it and blow it up. Um, DC fan motors, um, pretty common issues for the fans not to um, not to spin um, you got PC control boards depending on the board You got a smart board that's in the back 
that can cost you some money 244 55 so 300 for the part 270 for the labor at least 575 to replace the board um, then you got a smart buzzer right so you got multiple boards in here you got a Wi-Fi board right now that's saying it's no longer available um, ice maker ice makers sometimes it cost you five hundred dollars to replace like look at this joint the ice makers 185 tech come out I'm charging you 250 I'm charging you about these 275 you're talking about at least five hundred and twenty five dollars well, well yeah just about five hundred twenty five dollars to replace the ice maker yeah and people get it done because people like ice people want to get ice it's cheaper to replace the ice maker than buy a new fridge um, so yeah people are gonna get this stuff done because again the price of the refrigerator it's gonna cost you um, the refrigerator auger motor right um, sensor assembly grill assembly ice bucket um, refrigerator water reservoir where the filter um, get water in and store the water so it could be cold as you get water out of it um, water valves 72 39 87 46 again a hundred dollars so you're talking about 300 and something dollars 350 bucks almost four for that um, refrigerator reservoir with the filter head because that can leak so if you have an issues where the refrigerator is leaking out of the door I've had an issue with that with an LG, LG model before you're looking at 129.04 talking about 200 220 420 to about 475 you want to spend some money again another water valve 124 depending on the water valve depending on what you're dealing with um, it can cost you some money for this particular refrigerator um, refrigerated ice bank door assembly so the door for the ice maker that you pull out that's 160 right so you're talking about well here got another door right the door foam here as well this is 138 so depending on what door you need for the ice maker you're gonna spend at least $200 in parts all right at least $200 in parts um, I'm just gonna go through this whole entire thing just to give you an idea so you can see it it's gonna cost you guys some bread for this particular unit um, I'm also going to give you the grade um, for this unit as well. Um, filter assembly, ice cleaner, refrigerator, ice door. All right, so this looks like that's all the parts there. All right, so let's look at some of these parts and these images so that you can see it, right? The bucket and all the stuff you can get yourself. This whole entire thing and railings you can get yourself. None of that matters, right? Um, refrigerator parts. Let's look at that, like the shelves. Again, if you need to contact a tech for a shelf, please don't do that. Please go out and just purchase your own shelves and put them on if you want to look at YouTube, if you want to contact us, because this is what we're going to start doing, helping people install their products if we can um, remotely um, with videos so they'll be able to see if, if, you, if there's a part that you want to install, link, just let us know. I help you the best way. If I need to FaceTime you, I'll, you know, we get it done to make sure that we help you guys out. It's not a difficult thing to do. If you want to, if you want to get my opinion, you can also get my opinion as well. If you got any repair questions, I suggest you just ask. I'll be able to help you guys as best as I can. Um, just send me the link or send me a, a, a notification on my phone. Everything gets pinged to my phone, um, so I'll be able to see it. I check YouTube all the time. So if you have any comments, I respond to those as soon as I possibly can. And that's going to be the next phase. We're going to review appliances. We're going to sell appliances, and I also want to be able to help you to try to get the best price as I possibly can. To make sure that you're satisfied as a customer all right because it's about you guys all right this is going to help me be a better tech as well um the door let's get into the door some all right let's look at the door the gasket again this is the whole entire door like i said it comes in with most of the stuff there but then the gasket comes separately the moulin comes separately right the door handle comes separately so you're going to have to break this door down to a certain degree as a technician to be able to put it on properly and make sure everything works all right so we got to do that that's a part of it all right so that's one door here goes the other door same thing you get the handle that's separate this one has the gasket on it which is good um, of course the little shelves and everything else is separate but that is good that everything comes there with it um, but if you happen to need it all right you got your freezer door all right you got the gasket as well and then you got the front door you got your your railings as well that's on the door you got your handle right so if you need to replace that it's gonna cost you some bread to do that um, ice maker let's get into the ice maker you can see the filter housing water valve here you got your ice maker here and this is for the door portion of it right so depending on what ice maker you need you got another ice maker so this one is up top 
right inside the refrigerator where you open the door and you remove the door and the ice maker's right in the front. Watch the, the video that we have done as far as just intro and the actual appliance we're gonna work on. That we'll show you that and show you exactly what it's about. You got your ice bucket, you got the actual door. Then you got the different ice makers in here because you got two different ice makers inside the freezer. All right, so if you need that, it's gonna cost you. Um, behind the refrigerator, you have water valves and hoses and filters. If you need to replace all that, it's gonna cost you some money. Typically, if it's broken or there's a crack in the hose, the technician normally cut it, splice it, and then put an adapter on it. All right, it's not a difficult thing to do. Um, going inside the refrigerant portion of it, where the evaporator is, um, this is your evaporator unit, your condenser unit, you got your compressor right about here, your condenser fan, you got your drip pan that's back here as well. And this might be an R600 unit, I'm not 100% sure, but if it's a R600, meaning it's a different refrigerant that, that they're implementing. We used to use R134, now they're transitioning to R600. Um, you got to have the right guys to work on that. Not everybody works on those particular appliances. I'm uh, fortunate for us that we do, so that helps us. We got guys to be able to help us to do that. Um, but yeah, not everybody works on it. So if you got companies that don't work on it or a company that does with it being somewhat kind of new and a lot of the appliances are phasing out into that, it's going to cost you more money to do that. Guys that want to, yeah, it's going to get, yeah, they're going to want to get paid for that and compensate it. But all right, but this is the parts portion in the video, man. And um, just on average, you're gonna spend about three to 400 bucks on average for repair for this appliance. Most of the parts are available. Again, check out the warranty portion of the video to let you know what parts are covered and what parts are not. But when we're looking at this particular appliance, what grade we're gonna give the actual parts, we're gonna give it a, a four, right? LG products, we really like their products. Their parts are available, but you do wanna keep in mind, certain parts are only available after 10 years. Right, so they do move on quick. Like after 10 years, they stop making certain parts. So certain parts you might not be able to get. So you want to consider that when you purchase purchasing the appliance. But like I said, the grade that we'll give is uno dos tres cuatro. We give a four, 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 because we really like that appliance as well. All right, so check that out. Um, LG parts let you know exactly what goes bad in these appliances, man. I'm your boy Richie Rich, and I'm out. Peace. All right, so for this portion of the video, we're going to talk about the price. How much? It's going to cost you. Might cost you a little. Might cost you a lot. Either way, it's going to cost you. So when we're talking about the price for this LG Counter Depth Max InstaView 25.5 cubic feet Counter Depth Smart French Door Refrigerator with Dual Ice Maker Standard Steel Energy Star. Man, you're looking at, let's go to Lowe's. You're looking at $22.99. Right now, you're able to get it at a really good price. When we're talking about originally, you're talking about $34.99. You're saving about $1,200. Depending on where you are, depending on, like I said, if it's the, well, I've never said it, but I've said it throughout videos as far as um, best time to get appliances at times is around the holiday season when you're able to get some awesome discounts from it. It is the new year, so I suggest if you could get something that's reasonable, um, they do get a, give a lot of discounts around that time. You can see right now you're saving about $1,200 for this appliance. So right now you can get it for $22.99. And in my opinion, that's a really good price for everything that you get with this refrigerator. All right, so if you're interested in the functions and features, I suggest you check it out to make sure you get everything that you need to know about this appliance, what it do, how to use it, everything we break it down inside the owner's manual as well. And of course, the owner's manual is gonna be located in the description box of this particular video. All right, so Let's get into this joint real quick. Also, let's go to Home Depot, one of our favorite sites. Again, $22.98. All right, it says limited two per order. All right, so right now you're getting 34% off. It's saving you about $1,200. So right now, again, for this particular unit, roughly about $22.98. Original price is about $3,500. So if you can get it for $22.98, I suggest you get it. It's an awesome buy for the price. You're saving a lot of bread, all right? So um, again, the unit is stainless steel. It does has the InstaView freezers at the bottom, right? You do have um, three or four different ice, cube ice, um, max, it's a mini ice that you can get. You can get your traditional ice that you can get up top in the door. Like I said, check out the function features. You can get some awesome stuff here as well. I'm going to go to Best Buy. This is the final site that we're going to go to right now. Again, all of them are saying about roughly the same thing. 
$22.99.99. They're all saving you $1,200. Bucks. Was $34.99. All right, so when we're talking about an appliance, when we're looking at the price um, at different appliances, similar to what you see here, um, it is pretty reasonable, right? You got a Samsung unit, $25.99. Right, 25 cubic feet, you can see the Samsung unit right here. That's more expensive than the LG unit that you're getting a lot more out of um, because it's LG and it's on sale. All right, so we like the price. I think the price is really good. Um, again, your standard price for a refrigerator of this magnitude, you're talking about 3,500 and you're getting it for 2,299. All right, so we love it, we love it, we love it. And always look, another thing that I can show you guys, check out open box. They got an open box. Well, you can get this appliance for guess how much? I ain't gonna tell you. Twelve ninety, open box. So you want to be able to look at it, check it out to see if there's any dents. And a lot of times, open box have they still have the warranty that applies to it. So you're still gonna get the manufacturer warranty on it, even though it's an open box. So you want to be able to actually. Um, open it up, look at it, see if there's any dents or scratches, if they can help you, give you a little bit more. If you can get this for $12.90, it's a steal. It's done. It's a steal. It's over. So as far as the price, we love the price. Talking about $22.99, open box $12.90, we're going to give it a five. We love the price. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Yeah, cinco. So if we're going to grade this particular appliance as, as far as the price, we're going to give it a five. You already know. All right, so the next portion of the video, we're going to continue to keep going and we're going to give you our overall review to let you know what we think of this appliance. Bear with your boy. Peace. All right, so for this portion of the video, we're going to focus on the warranty. Warranty, 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 the manufacturer warranty. All right, so let's get into this LG French door refrigerator with the InstaView by LG. All right, so it says limited warranty. You can see the terms and conditions. If you want to read that, you can. But I just want to scroll all the way down where it says warranty period, and these are the things that you want to make sure that you pay attention to. So go inside the owner's manual if you want to put a crease in it, if you want to highlight it. Make sure you hold on to this because what are the, what's happening is you can miss the extended warranty that they have on this particular refrigerator. All right, first of all, it comes with a one-year manufacturer warranty that covers both parts and labor from the original retail purchase. So you, of course, you wanna hold on to your receipt. You wanna make sure you register your appliance. I'm gonna say that again, register your appliance. It's very important that you do that so that you're automatically in the system of the manufacturer for this case, so that you're automatically registered in the system with LG. All right, so they know when you purchase it, they know who you purchased it from. You put the model number, serial number in. It's extremely easy to do. You get a registration card with the new appliance that you get. They give you like a pamphlet. Sometimes they give you the owner's manual. They also give you like installation information as well. So when you do have this information in front of you, take the time to do it. Again, you can call in, you can do it online to register, and you can mail it off. There's so many options that you could choose from to do that. So we suggest that you do it. All right, again, it comes with the manufacturer warranty, both parts and labor, um, as long as there's um, um, a defect in the part um, and workmanship of the appliance. It also has a five-year warranty on the seal system parts of this refrigerator, right? So you got your condenser, you got your dryer, you got your uh, connecting tube, and your evaporator. So all this stuff is just the seal system that allows the unit to cool, right? So that parts and labor is good for five years, all right? So that is good, good. Um, it says parts and labor internally, functional parts only, all right? So then you also have on the compressor, a five-year warranty on the compressor as well, parts and labor. So as long as you have it within the five years, you're having issue where it's not cooling, you can actually contact LG. They're going to walk you through just different processes that to see if it's an issue with the appliances. It's something that they can fix over the phone. If they're not able to fix it over the phone, of course, they can um, give you different numbers to call so that you can get an LG certified technician to come out. He'd be able to verify the information, contact LG, get you a letter of authorization so that they can authorize the parts that you need to get it done and they will cover the parts and labor on the compressor for five years. All right, so the compressor is also a part of the seal system that allows the unit to cool. And then last but not least, you got a six to 10 year warranty just on the compressor and that's just for the part on its own. 
All right, so this is very important as well. Again, if you have this appliance and it's been nine years, you happen to need a compressor, the compressor will be covered. The only thing that you would not pay for, you can say it's the, um, the service valve and the filter uh, and the filter dryer the, um, the filter dryer for this particular refrigerator um, those parts are not expensive but you will pay for the labor so roughly you can spend as far as the labor to install a compressor you can save between four and five hundred bucks it all depends on the company that does come out all right so but it is going to be a lot cheaper than you purchasing a new appliance all right and that's the benefit all right, so these are the things that you want to look for as far as the warranty. It got a one-year manufacturer warranty. has a five-year warranty on the seal system, but it also includes the compressor, parts, and labor. And then it has a six to ten-year warranty on the compressor. All right, so let's read a little bit more here. It says replacement products and parts are warranted for the remaining portion of the original warranty period for 90 days, whichever is greater. Replacement products and parts may be new, refurbished, reconditioned or otherwise factory remanufactured all right so it doesn't have to be brand new parts and i want you guys to understand that i want you to get that out of your head because a lot of times customers always ask me are these brand new parts yeah it's coming from lg if it's under warranty yeah we're using companies that sell brand new parts that come in a box but when you're looking at the product and the appliance they do not have to be new they can be reconditioned we can be refurbished and they can be remanufactured all right, so that doesn't have to be brand new. All right, so it says replace product or parts will be the property of LG. All right, so sometimes they want their part back, especially if it's a control board that they need to rebuild. You're going to have to give that part back in order to get the warranty credit. They are not playing. It says proof of original purchase. Um, specific, uh, specify the product, model, and taste of purchase is required to obtain warranty service under this limited warranty. All right, so... Again, all this is inside the owner's manual. It goes go over things that's not covered, right? Um, service trips to deliver, pick up, or install, educate how to operate, all that types of stuff is not covered. Read this in the owner's manual. Take the time, or you can just watch this video. All right, watch the video. You can pause it so that you'll be able to figure it out what's covered and what's not covered, and that's the benefit of um, reading the owner's manual and watching our videos because we want to be able to help you guys as much as we can. You have different numbers that you can call as far as getting in contact with LG. You can go online at uh, www.lg.com. You got a 1-800 number you can call and you have, of course, you have a mailing address that you can actually contact them directly. All right, so just want to make sure I cover everything as far as the warranty because I got to give you the warranty grade as far as this particular unit um, as well. So um other than that i think that's it everything is good as far as the warranty you got different warranty for canada all right so we can look at that if you're in canada you're watching this video because i want to make sure that you guys are also covered as well your refrigerator has a one-year warranty your seal system has a one-year warranty it also has a seven-year warranty from the date of purchase um parts only and then it also has a 10-year um warranty on the compressor inverter all right so these are the things you can look at go inside the owner's manual so you know what what it is that you're actually getting depending on the country that you live in all right so just going to scroll back up i just want to make sure i take my time you guys see everything um as far as an overall grade when we're talking about the warranty for this particular appliance you're getting a good amount of stuff um, when you're talking about the LG warranty, you got a one-year manufacturer warranty, you got a five-year warranty on certain parts, then you also have a six to ten-year warranty on other parts as well. So as far as an overall grade, when we're talking about a warranty, it is starting to be industry standard as far as getting these different um, extended warranty periods on it. I know sometimes, depending on the brand of the appliance, um, like you would say, um, GE might have a GE standard appliance and they might have a warranty if it, if the appliance is a GE profile if it's a GE monogram um, if, it, if it's a GE cafe so depending on the levels of the appliance as far as the um, the tiers of it and the, and the luxury of it or the high end of it right you're gonna get more so for this particular appliance we're gonna give it a five because you're getting these extended warranty on parts that you're gonna probably need later on. We do work on LG product, we do work on their compressors, and their compressors do go bad. Sometimes their seal system goes bad, and I do know they do cover it as long as you have the proper information, your appliance is registered, you have a receipt, they're able to pull up your information with the model and serial number, they're able to send a technician out to come out to be able to help you. All right, so as far as the overall grade, when we're talking about 
the warranty. We're gonna give it a uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, five. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next portion in the video, man, so that we can get this review done. Peace. All right, so this portion of the video, we're gonna focus on the functions and the features. All right, so we're gonna give you our overall grade for this particular appliance to let you know how we feel about this appliance. All right, so when we're talking about the functions and features, we really like this appliance. One, it's a stainless steel unit, 26 counterfeit, smart insta view counter depth max french door refrigerator made by lg a couple things that we can point out in the functions and features that we like it says here it has a door cooling plus it says blast of cool air reaches all areas of the refrigerator all right so it blasts cool air where it says door cooling all right so that's something different and unique to this particular appliance twin ice makers it says the do ice makers located in the door and freezer ensure you have extra ice on hand when you need it all right so you got the ice within the at the door when you open the refrigerator and of course in the freezer you can get um ice there you can get mini ice or you can get the um the craft ice which is this big circle of ice that you can see there you can actually see where it says um this is where your traditional ice is and of course you got ice in the refrigerator it says designed um for more shelf space and that's a good thing you have more space inside this refrigerator it's a nice size refrigerator because again the ice maker is inside the door so it doesn't take away from the space inside the refrigerator all right it says the cool guard interior it says wall panels help maintain your chill with premium style that's the good thing of having the metal steel or the guard interior in the back it helps cool it down you can see the the uh the air filter there as well like i said you can replace the air filter every six months or when the refrigerator reminds you or you can buy um the filters yourself use bacon soda you can stick on the door because your refrigerator has odor another thing that it has here it has the instant view door be able to knock on the door you'll be able to see on the inside of the refrigerator you can actually open the door without actually going inside the refrigerator so that you can help maintain the proper temperature that's one of the things that we like about the refrigerator as well that's really cool it is also a smart appliance right so you can communicate via wi-fi you can get notifications about this appliance as well it can also help you with your electrical grid if you have an issue um if you have um, peak hours as far as just trying to maintain between your B, uh, your electrical bill and these different things that you got to deal with at home your refrigerator is smart enough to be able to, to help you with that you just got to communicate your um, your electrical company or whatever company that supplies the electricity to your home they'd be able to help you as well um, to be able to maintain that so you can you know have a proper um, power grid going to the refrigerator and that help always remember if you're going to use the wi-fi make sure it's in the right place where you're able to get a good signal and then always keep in mind wi-fi just being careful we're putting that information out there so that you'll be able to protect yourself with your passwords and everything else um, we like we talked about the ice we really like the ice on this particular unit um, it also has a dispenser in the front uh, with is the uv nano we'll be able to clean itself every 10 seconds um, I think it's every 10 minutes. It does it automatically, so you don't have to do anything um, where it actually cleans itself on the dispenser, so you don't have to worry about that as well. Um, the shelves are good. Freezer's good. Multiple ice. You can get three or four diff uh, three different ices on here. A smart appliance. Um, humidity control um, in the crisper as well and the folding shelf. So you can be able to do that and press that. So you have a lot of functions, a lot of features on this particular appliance. So we really like this appliance. So we're going to give the function and features a five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. All right. So let's go over these overall grade that we have. We got the warranty, a five price, a five parts, a four function and features. We have a five. So if you add everything up, you got a grade of 19 divided by four. You're looking at 4.75. All right, so we really like this refrigerator as far as the overall aspect of things and how it works, how it operates, the size, all the functions and features, how much you're going to pay if you need to repair. The price of it at the moment is amazing. The warranty that you get with this thing is amazing as well. The only thing that I always say, just keep in mind, um, LG does have issues with the compressor, and that's one of the things that I can state. We've replaced a few um, as well. People call all the time about them. Um, but you just want to keep that in mind. They do cover them and that's the big thing why we don't really ding it as much as far as this particular appliance. If we want to say there's a negative with it, it's just the compressors just tend to go bad. 
and it's not just specifically LGs, but we work on a few of those, so there's go bad from time to time. It's a part of it. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, and overall, we really like this appliance, man. So this might be the best appliance that we refrigerated for the 2024. All right, so just keep that in mind. I'm your boy, Richie Rich. You already know what our slogan is, man. You help me, I help you. We both help each other. Till next time, I'm out of here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'm out. Peace.